Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story Time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to my page. Here we go. Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you all another Disney's villains, the Evil Queen. All right, guys, look, I what I um, am going to do is um, all of my Disney villains. I am actually going to put the link of all of the other villains um, sides of the story that I have because I know I have multiple one of these, so I am going to put the links in the description so you guys can see the other uh, villains or whatever Disney villains all right guys let's get into this the evil queen honestly i think that is snow white not sure but i think this is snow white let's see yeah it looks like it <laughs> mirror mirror long ago there lived an evil and vain queen every day the queen consulted her magic mirror magic mirror on the wall who is the fairest one of all each day the mirror replied you are the fairest one of all but one morning the mirror had a different answer famed is thy beauty majesty but hold a lovely maid i see rags cannot hide her gentle grace she is more fair than thee the cream grass gasped snow white snow white was the queen's stepdaughter the queen had long feared the girl's beauty would surpass her own she dressed the girl in rags and made her work in the castle but still it seemed her beauty could not be hidden sometimes people are just naturally beauty naturally beautiful the queen sent for her huntsman. Take Snow White into far into the forest. Find some secluded glad where she can pick wildflowers, she commanded. And th there, my faithful huntsman, you will kill her. The husband protested, but the queen reminded him that the penalty for failure was death. Smiling, she held out a carved box. Bring back her heart in this, she sneered. The queen smiled as the huntsman set out with the girl. With Snow White dead, the queen will once again be the fairest in the land. Afraid of the queen's wrath, the huntsman led Snow White into the forest to collect wildflowers. The princess was happy. She had met a handsome prince, and she couldn't stop thinking about him. As she picked flowers, she hummed to herself. The huntsman raised his dagger. A short while later, the huntsman returned to the castle. He handed the queen the box. Inside was a heart. The queen ran to her chambers to consult her mirror. With Snow White gone, she would once again be fairest in the land. Magic mirror on the wall. Who now is the fairest one of all? She asked, holding the box from the huntsman in her hands. Beyond the seventh fall in the cottage of the seven dwarfs, Snow White still lives, fairest one of all. It is the heart of a pig you hold in your hand. The mirror replied. The queen was furious. She had been tricked. Mm, I know she was upset. With the flick of her black cape, the queen stormed down a long winding staircase to the dungeon. Rats watched from the shadows and cobwebs hung from the stones. The queen now knew she couldn't trust anyone else to do the deed for her. If she wanted to be the fairest in the land, she would have to take care of Snow White herself. I'll go myself to the dwarf's college, cottage in the woods. I'll go into the disguise. So complete, no one will suspect me, the queen yelled. Looking over her bookshelves, the queen pulled out a large book of magic spells. She needed, her, she needed to create a potion to disguise herself. Mummy dust to make me old, she said as she gathered her ingredients in a goblet to shroud my clothes the back of night, the black of night. To ch age my voice, an old hag's cackle. To whiten my hair, a scream of fright. The concoction bubbled and hissed in the glass. Now begin thy magic spell, 
the queen murmured. Lifting the goblet to her lips, she drank the potion. Mm. She really wanted to be the beautiful one and all, huh? Mist began to swirl around the queen. She dropped the goblet and it shattered on the ground. Wind whipped through the room and lightning flashed as the queen began to transform. Pain consumed her as her hair grew long and turned a deathly white. The queen clapped her hands to her throat as her voice began to crack and her skin began to age. Finally, the agonizing transformation was complete. A perfect disguise. She cackled. The queen looked like an ugly old peddler woman. They say beauty hurts. I mean, it hurt her to turn ugly, guys. I mean, come on now. You willing to turn ugly so you can be the beauty, the prettiest one in the world? That is completely confusing, y'all. I'm confused. If y'all ain't confused, I'm confused with that one. <laughs> Let's keep going. And now, a special sort of death for one so fair. What should it be? The queen cackled, flipping through the pages of her spell book. Ah, a poison apple. Carefully, she dipped an apple in her bubbling cauldron and recited the spell. Dip the apple in the brew. Let the sleeping death seep through. Now turn red to tempt Snow White and make her hunger for a bite. The queen held up the perfect looking apple triumphantly. Then she had a horrible thought. What if there was an antidote? She ran to her book. Here it is. The victim of sleeping death can only be revived by love's first kiss. No fear of that. The dwarfs will think she's dead. She laughed. See? She ain't think all that through. But that's good. <laughs> Eager to put her plan in motion, the queen quickly filled the woven basket with apples. She placed the poison apple on top. Then she rolled across the castle moat, through the thick, swirling mist to the edge of the dark forest. Taking her basket, she set off to find the girl. It took the queen all night to reach the dwarf's cottage deep in the woods. She watched as Snow White kissed each dwarf on the head as they left for work. When the dwarfs were out of sight, the queen appeared at the window. All alone, my pet? She asked, making pass. Snow White nodded. Yes, gooseberry pies. The queen smiled slightly. Ah, it's apple pies that make the men folks mouth water. She held up the poison apple from her basket. Like to try one, dearie? Hmm. Go on, have a bite. You don't accept nothing from strangers, guys. You don't accept nothing from strangers. <laughs> But just as Snow White was about to take the apple, a flock of birds began to attack the queen. She fought them off as Snow White shooed the birds away. The flock scattered and the queen realized this was her chance to get inside. Oh, my heart. Oh, my poor heart. The queen groaned, clutching her chest. Take me into the house and let me rest. A drink of water, please. Snow White helped the queen into the dwarf's cottage. The queen grinned to herself, griping the poison apple. Now all she had to do was get Snow White to eat it. Mm, mm, mm. She is doing a lot, guys. The queen had a clever idea. She turned to Snow White. This is no ordinary apple. It's a magic wishing apple. One bite and all your dreams will come true. Perhaps there's someone you love. Well, there is someone, Snow White admitted. I thought so, the queen said. Make a wish and take a bite. Snow White took the apple from the queen. The queen watched eagerly encouraging Snow White to take a bite. Look at that. Look at her eyes, guys, trying to push her to take a bite. She knows she don't want to take that bite. She knows it's not right. Guys, well, if you feel that something ain't right, feel it in your heart, believe that. Because a lot of times, it's the truth. Honestly, most of the times, it's the truth. Believe what, what, you, what it's telling you. <laughs> Thinking of her prince, Snow White bit into the apple. Oh, I feel strange, she said. A moment later, she fell to the floor.
The queen cackled triumphantly as lightning flashed outside. Now I'll be the fairest in the land. As the queen left the cottage, she saw the dwarfs riding toward her on, deer, on the deer. The animals had alerted them to the danger and the dwarfs wanted to capture the queen. The queen ran through the rain into the forest. She made her way up a steep rocky cliff. The dwarfs climbed after her until she was trapped on the edge. What do I do? She gasped. She wasn't about to be stopped by a bunch of dwarfs. Meddling little fools. Looking around, the queen grabbed a stick and began prying free a huge boulder. I'll get you. I'll crush your bones. She cried. The queen cackled triumphantly as she got the boulder loose. Suddenly, a binding bolt of lightning struck the ledge where she stood with a shriek. The queen fell into the valley below and was crushed underneath the large boulder. Wow, see? Trying to do things bad and mean. With the queen gone, the dwarves put Snow White in a glass coffin in the woods and watched over her. One day, her prince, who had been searching for her, came to the clearing where she lay in her coffin. Gently, he kissed her. The queen's evil spell was broken. Love's first kiss brought the, queen, the princess back to life. Snow White no longer had to live in fear of the queen and she had and her prince lived happily ever after. All right, that is the end of Disney's Villains, The Evil Queen. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my page if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys for tuning in. Bye.